Hello and welcome to the Plays. Play, is what will be our Sweet Sweet Candy series in which we attempt to get the Cotton Candy achievement. As Candy, be the lead controller of Cotton. Not to be confused with my long, long ago now, Sweet Sweet Candar series. Uh, anyway, step one is to try and get free of our evil overlord. We'll roll our ruler. He's pretty good, but... Um, yeah, and he's young. He's pretty good and he's young, so we're quite happy there. We're going to improve with VJ because we would like to avoid them wanting to come eat our face off. Very good. And one day we're going to want another transport, but we're too poor at the moment. Uh, this province starts in control of the monastic orders, so we might as well go milk them. We'll take away their shit in a year. That will give us enough to stab up to make up for the fact that we're about to turn on our overlord. What? That guy died. Well, that sucks. How good is the new one? He is much worse. That sucks a lot. Anyway. Good. Come together. And I want my freedom. My glorious, glorious freedom. I also would like that to not be a problem. Flanking wins the day. Too easy. Now, next step is to look at our possible targets other than you. Siak and Paragyang are always potential ones, so we'll keep an eye on them. Which also means, in this case, keeping an eye on Khmer, because if Khmer start getting the shit beaten out of them, we'll be able to attack Paragyang without much issue. I don't want to take more land here, because it's just going to enrage VJ even further. And I have the slots, and it at least makes him take <clears throat> another month to kill me, so I'm going to ask for that. The very worst case, all it does is delay him attacking me one more month. Other than getting our siege done, we could... Ugh, not use our king for a siege if he doesn't have siege pips. Oh, but he does have siege pips. Well, good for you. Um, so we're improving with you. We could try and improve with you. And as I said, we're going to want that boat. <laughs> oh, there we go. So I should maybe think about getting on that as well, as my stepping stone into Indonesia.
we can embrace our monastic thingy and we can get stop it we can get rid of this which means we can then give it to someone else like the nobles we'll do all that come the beginning of next year Great. Not having him want to eat me would be a really, really good thing for us. <laughs> Back to you. Can I pretend I'm threatened by you? Save me! Save me, Bahmanus! It helps. Very good. We can then do some training. We demand our freedom. We demand all your land. We demand all your money. <clears throat> now, we could start trying to transport over here. You're attacking the little people. As long as it's not me, I don't care. Okay, this can go terribly, terribly wrong. Actually, let's err on the side of caution and go here. That is an amazing air. Good, can't pick up the next set. I also gained some force limit. Might as well make use of it. should have our boats that do trade, do trade. Preferably always healed. Well, the other option is to attack you if you're losing. How many units does he have? Eleven? No, I think Siak is the better... the better choice. ones. Bugger. 
I really hoped he wouldn't finish that before we can... Well, I could keep improving relations here and force him to not be hostile. Yes, there are natives. Very expensive to defeat natives. Time to get coring. Now, you're supposed to like us. Oh, come on. Come on. friendly. And it does look like Pasai is turning into the correct target. So what we will consider doing is begging you for access. us, but that's just life. So let's at least start that coring first. Now, we can fiddle with these, so we should. So we go diet and general and guy. We ask for the mill, we ask for the men, and then we yoink the province away from them. Now the one to do is the Janes. Give them the province that has the high value trade good. In fact, they're all high value trade goods. Gain a base tax. Hmm. If I give them one more, can I milk more province uh, points from them? Yes. Then we will do that. Cool. Start that core. Oh, it got bigger because it got development. maybe? Or was it corruption? In any case, we should be fighting corruption. Mm. 
Okay, now we're allowed to attack you. Charge! Smush. Leave one behind. I was here first. Good boy. Again, I was here first. Thank you. Annoying is that we have to go do this. And finally, besiege their capital. Apparently you decided to get in the action too. Good for you. Sure to keep you above a hundred. Keep the absolute minimum we need there to continue a siege. Well, actually, we should. Depends how much land they take. I'll lose the war exhaustion, thank you. And who else are we going to need, assuming we take some land here? It would probably not be nice if you didn't hate us. Now, the question is, can I reach over here, or do I have to vassalize him? I think I have to vassalize him. Oh no, I can actually reach here. That is cool. Now, as long as you're over 100, they can't vassalize you and then turn this into a war that ruins my life. that we don't control, and otherwise sit on the capital. Okay, now let's find out how much everyone is going to hate us if we try and eat him. Look, we're the same religion, you should love me.
will hate me a lot to vary. What if I take one and vassalize the remainder? What if I only vassalize? Hmm. That's no good for us. We might have to sit around improving relations with some people for a while before we peace out. Need to have less negative stab. And no unrest here, yeah, please. can't afford level 2 unrest man, but I want him so much. I think we're going to have to buy down our war exhaustion. And you once. Ouch. Yep. Well, I'm glad I did it then. But, what do you know, it's time to end the episode. <gasps> no! So, I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you'll join us again soon.